Thanks a lot, Kerry. Well, as the weather gets warmer and we spend more time outside, maybe on the golf course, right, or yards or parks, you might be picking up some unwanted hitchhikers. Yeah, and some of us may have heard some of those odd stories of people becoming allergic to meat after being bit by a certain tick. Mm. You know, even if they've never had any problems in the past. So, are ticks really to blame for that meat allergy? Here to fill us in is Professor and Chair of Primary Care at Kansas City University, Dr. Gotham Desai. And so, Dr. Desai, first off, welcome in. Great to see you again, as always. Is, is it true that some people, you know, who love Kansas City barbecue their whole life can suddenly become allergic to meat after being bit by a tick? You know, it's heartbreaking, but true. So, what happens is that uh, some animals that we eat, like beef, uh, lamb, Pork, uh, it has a sugar molecule called, you know, the fancy name is galactose alpha, 1 3 galactose, but we just call it alpha gal. And humans don't have that sugar molecule. So when a tick bites us and it regurgitates the stomach contents into the skin, oh. you know, ticks have that alpha gal in their stomach, so your body becomes sensitized to that. And so people can get a reaction to beef or, you know, lamb, etc., even if they've never had any problems. Their whole life. Wow, I, what a nightmare! And so, what would be some of the symptoms you'd notice, uh, Dr. Desai, if you had the alpha gal syndrome? Yeah, so this is hard for patients as well as providers because what happens is that you'll get a reaction in some people, but not all people, and it's not always the same reaction. But what we see is that you know, two to six hours after eating, you know, the beef, uh, the pork, or whatever you've eaten. Uh, you can end up getting an itchy rash, you might get hives, your throat might feel like it's closing down, you might feel nauseated, you might have diarrhea or abdominal pain. And some people actually don't have the rash, but they just feel like they're going to faint or they, you know, they do pass out. And that can be much later, so it just makes it very hard to diagnose. Wow. So uh, what specific tick <clears throat> causes this uh meat allergy, Dr. Desai, and do, do we have them here in our region? Yeah, so it's felt that the culprit is the lone star tick, and the female of this species has a, you know, a single white dot or star on it, and the male has a few little ones, but since they're so small, it's hard uh, to find them sometimes. Um, other countries have other ticks that are responsible for this, and unfortunately, Kansas is one of the states that does have the lone star tick. Okay, Dr. Desai, here's my question for you. I recently uh, was bitten by a tick over the weekend, and it's in an area that I cannot see. So I had to have my son help me remove the tick. Now, since I can't see it, I don't know if the t all of the tick has been removed. There is a little bit of inflammation on the tick bite, and it does itch from time to time. Is that normal, or do I need to ha go see a doctor? Yeah, so it's pretty normal to have some of the saliva of the tick irritate the skin so you do have a little red spot but if you start to get a bullseye lesion or if that redness is spreading if it looks infected then you should see someone and in Kansas it's not one of the states where we recommend antibiotic prophylaxis if you get a bite you know like if it's a, if you know for sure it's a deer tick and you happen to be in Lyme Connecticut then for sure get some prophylactic antibiotics um, but here it's kind of a watch and wait so if you get fever chills, the rash gets bigger, you get some body aches, then you should, you know, see your provider for treatment. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. There it is. You're cured. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Desai, thank you so much. There's a ton of them out there right now, and everybody is doing yeah. a lot of outdoor activities, so an important topic for sure. And you're going to follow up next week, and we're going to talk about Lyme disease next week. So oh, yeah. So look forward to that. Yeah. Well, All you right. gentlemen have a nice week. All right. Uh, you as well, Dr. Desai. Take care. Coming up.